Hello, my name's James and welcome to All3D. So we're here at the RJ Mitchell Wind Tunnel down at the Southampton University. We are doing some various scans with Angelo in a number of wingsuits for the Project Icarus student program. The Icarus program is a program of wingsuit development at the University of Southampton with the intention of breaking at least four world records, including the highest altitude, the longest flight time, the longest distance flown, and the highest speed ever achieved with a wingsuit. In order to do that, we need to understand how wingsuits operate aerodynamically. So what we rely on OR3D for is to laser scan the wingsuits in flight and capture the geometry. We are able to then run simulations to determine the flow field around those wingsuits. And then we can also modify them. We can modify them and improve them. And in doing that, we can generate our own wingsuits that will hopefully break the world record. And I'll be the guy doing that as well. Right, we're now back in the office and we are going to start looking at the data that uh, we scanned down at the wind tunnel. We went through three different wingsuit variants just so we can give the team down at Southampton some baseline data that they can then work their designs from. What we're going to do is show you the process from the initial scan, that raw scan data that we got from the Mantis Vision F5 and the uh, F5 short range go through combining those data sets and then taking that through into Geomagic Freeform Plus and converting that into a solid CAD model which the, uh, the Icarus team can use for working out CFD for the various analysis for the wingsuit designs that they're going to come up with for the world record attempt. So we're now looking at Mantis Vision Producer which is the software that puts together all that raw scan data from the video that the F5s took and turning that into what we call a registered point cloud. Currently we've got 16 million points that we captured during the actual scan and we will go through a process of quality checking them, removing any additional data that we might have caught and then converting that into a mesh model which we'll then take through into Geomagic Freeform Plus for further processing into a CAD model. What we can see in the actual shot is the various 3D points actually being captured in real time. The system then goes through and puts all those various points together in a registered point cloud. And as it builds up, so does the scan data into a unified model. So we're now looking at Geomagic Freeform Plus. This is Geomagic's premier organic modeling software package. It works by importing either CAD data or scan data directly into the program and then manipulating it using the haptic device. This sort of application is used a lot within jewellery design, in medical and also in manufacturing where issues of draft analysis and working with complex organic shapes uh, in the moulding process is key and can't be used with traditional mechanical CAD packages. It is possible to manipulate the model uh, and make changes, make additions, start taking material away or adding material. Obviously in this particular case we're keeping exactly um, as we scan so we've got very accurate data but using this haptic device allows us complete control over the clay and provides us a lot of control in models that we produce. So it's a very powerful uh, application that provides a huge amount of design that is not possible using traditional CAD packages. So we've gone through all the processes from working with the scan data to creating that mesh model and then finally using Geomagic Freeform Plus to create a CAD model which will now pass on to Project Icarus. These guys down at Southampton Uni 
can start doing the design work necessary for the world record attempt. Hopefully it's given you an idea of exactly what we're capable of and also what is possible with the latest laser scan technology from Mantis Vision and Geomagic freeform products that we support, supply and train here in the UK. Thank you.